All right, Big Bang, today is Monday, July 22nd. Welcome to Dog Walk, presented by Barstool Sports, Snake Draft Monday. We are joined in studio by Mook. We are also joined by Danny Conrad, which, I mean, I don't think you're a guest, but... Yeah, but I, I, I feel weird. This is the worst drunk guy's guest, and you had us on. Are we the worst drunk yeah, guys? It kind of usually <laughs> usually relates to the topic. I feel like it's a soft intervention. <laughs> <laughs> that was not the case here. The case was we are doing a show... I don't think the, I've ever been drunk with Mook, actually. I haven't either. Yeah, it's uh, honestly good for you guys. You guys don't want to see that because I I was thinking about this list and I was like, oh, I'm on half of my own selection. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was some self-reflection. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of jarring last night going through it. Just look at the mirror and be like, I hate when you do that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. case was that we are doing a show at the Laugh Factory on Thursday. The five of us plus Stephen Che plus our friend Chris Bader and Nick Tarani. Yes. So uh, we want to see you guys there. We want you to buy tickets. So please, please come, come out. Um, tickets are, are selling very fast. Use promo code Barcel Chicago for twenty percent off. There we go. And it's and always is, fun. There's a Q and A at the end. Uh, it's going to be a great time. Right by our old office too. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Come on by. Uh, White Sox Dave is going to be filming a special. Mm -hmm. So uh, you, you, got a, you got a good hour set. Yep. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yep. It's gotten now already. All yep. my material. Yeah, uh, he's he's, being, he's you're a clean stand up actually too. Mm -hmm. You don't <laughs> yeah. you don't swear yeah. or anything. He's like the opposite of Bob Saget. Like he's yeah. actually he's actually yeah. very clean on stage. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. Uh, so yes, please come. Uh, we will post the link in the bio to this podcast, as well as uh, the YouTube and the Rumble, everything like that. So and that's uh, Thursday, July twenty fifth. Yep, Laugh Factory on Broadway. Uh, so come on out. We'd love to see you. We'd appreciate it. I'd also like to give you guys a heads up. I was up until four in the morning playing NCAA football. How'd it go? Great. Dynasty. I'm eight and two uh, yeah. heading into the college. I, I'm UCF. I'm rebuilding. Okay. But right. I mean, right. I, I'm, I put in the work last night through pain. My hands still hurt from so, uh, baseball. You're so. basically a real life version of that out of order sketch from yesterday. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 I was recruiting at 3 a.m. Yeah. I was like, what am I doing? But I kept playing. So that scenario is why I was so hesitant to get it. Because that like when you're recruiting, at least how it was back in the day, time just gets away from you. Oh, it's yeah. I played for six hours. Oh <laughs> that's some, that's some time, dude. Yeah. yeah. I, I how got many it. uh peas did you a lot? Uh what did you eat? I mean, I assumed you ordered something. What give me the rundown. Yeah, yesterday I left work, took a nap, went to Zany's, did a set, edited edited anus for like two hours, ordered Chipotle in, immediately fired up NCAA, mm -hmm. so oh, set up what mm -hmm. was going. Yeah. And just working the sticks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just stick work. Mm -hmm. What kind of offense are you running? I'm running a spread. Okay. I'm also clipping all of my best plays right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like you compiling. Yes. <laughs> you lose it. Dude, it's so bad. <laughs> I have like a bank of clips, and I'm going to make a highlight reel. Yeah. Oh, man. It's amazing. This game is changing my life for, <laughs> for the better, I think, so. Oh, man. Was All right. So it is worst drunk guys. Uh, kind of a half-baked idea. But I think we could have some fun conversation here. Mm -hmm, so I think it could mm -hmm, be good. Mm -hmm. um, so let's get into the order. Uh, Mook, Lance has a number one through five behind his back. What number is it? Four. No. Danny? Two. Yep. Damn it. Um, I'm going to go fourth. Okay. Uh, Chief, one through four. One. No. Dave? Three. No. Four. Yep. I'll take one. Uh, one through three, Mook. Three. Yep. I'll take two. One or two, Chief. Two. No. You. One, and I'll take three. Okay. Damn it. I think this is a bad draft to draft fit. Yeah, I think so, too. <laughs> that coin flip was a big deal yeah. right there. Uh, so the order is Eddie Mook, White Sox Dave, Danny Chief. All right, before we get going, I want to talk about our friends at Game Time, the official ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. I just pulled up my app here. I'm seeing Hardy is at uh, Tinley Park for as low as 35 bucks. 35 bucks to see Hardy, friend of the program, real good friend with uh, a lot of Barstool people, I'm sure. So it's going to be a great show out there in Tinley Park. Uh, that's a Saturday, like I said. Uh, low as 35 bucks. I got my eye on that. Uh, obviously, the Cubs uh play tonight I, I think marty bush is throwing out the first pitch actually so uh let's go pop in over there see what cubs tickets are going for today if you want to go to the game yeah there you go you could get them for as low as 30 bucks as well so go see marty throw the pitch go see hardy uh you know just make sure you're using game time that's that's the main point of this all 
They got the flash deals for sudden discounts. They got zone deals when you're feeling flexible. So uh, game time is a place to find last minute seats with up to 60% off for your favorite events. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time. Download the game time app, create an account, use code dog walk for $20 off your first purchase terms do apply. Download the game time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Uh, without further ado, here is the worst drunk guy draft. Uh, straight to the point, the fighter. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's, yeah. 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 That was the only answer. Yeah. That might be every answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we almost we have to be very specific if we want 25. Like there's a, there's different kinds of violent drunk guys. Everything I have on my list leads to a fight. <laughs> okay. So, but no, I get fighters acceptable. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, so I get I'm, what you're saying. Yeah. I'm talking about the person who you just, you know, every time you go out with him, it's like, all right. The chances have skyrocketed. Yes, you know, like you, you know, have a guy like that in your crew. Not now, but like yeah. back in the day, okay. sure. Yeah. 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 We, yeah, yeah. We also, so we don't, you know, uh, like talk shit on our crews. These are all hypothetical guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. These are I had these are not in, my. I, boys. I had some guys that were the inspiration for this draft. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 You had to. You had to like rack your brain. Yeah. Like, like oh, I have that guy. The fucking worst. Yeah. yeah. Um. I yeah. also think like you're. We're, we'd be picking from like the point of view when we were around that age, you know? So like, like even yeah. underage might come in at some point, but right now no one has the fighter, but when you were in your 21, 22 fighter was very prevalent. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's I, like, that's one thing where I'm, I'm a very nostalgic guy. I'm, I, I think about the past a lot, but when it comes to, the fighter being gone out of my life. I'm very happy about <laughs> yeah, that. I was, so mm -hmm. happy. I was happy to see him in the rear view mirror. How yeah. old are you, Mook? 27. Okay, so is he still around for you? Oh, yeah. I know you're in a new <laughs> yeah, city yeah. and everything. Yeah. It's Nick Terrini. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you meant, I, th I thought you meant like alive. Like, no, <laughs> no, I meant he met his match. He died. Do you still have that <laughs> guy in your crew? Not fight. a bad question for the fighter. Yeah. yeah. Because, yeah. Uh, like, you know, a bad curb stomp gone wrong. Like, you never know. Yeah. I, I do know one kid who's who did time. Like legit time. Yeah, say, his, same. Yeah. say his full name. I'm not going to. I didn't know him. Know him. He was a friend of a friend. I played against him in baseball in college, but did like. Where'd he go? No, I'm just joking. I don't want to scout. Yeah, it. I mean, it wouldn't yeah. have given yeah. it away. Yeah. But no, it was a big school. Yeah, like there's a kid who I went to high school with. Like bad situation, got into a fight. The guy turned into you know vegetable. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's yeah, what happened. Yeah, really. yeah. the guy did. The mm -hmm. guy's doing like eight years right now yep. in Cook Ooh. County. Like I always say, I've said this before on the show. It's like. Going into bars, it should be like Laser Quest or like a Disney, uh, like a Disneyland thing. They put you in a room and it's like, you may not sit, kneel, or lie down. You can't put your hands out. Like they should show you a thing. Do not fight. This is what happens. This is the worst case scenario. This guy did eight years. Like it should be scared straight. Like they should mm -hmm. put like cancer on a on a like a tobacco tin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah. So yeah, the fighter, the worst. The guy just that sitting would... there at the table, licking his chops like that. Fucking he, guy's a loser. Someone like yeah bumps into him and yeah. it's like a problem it's yeah. like uh it's, it's like, a pit bull and you got a, a fucking steak just dangling yeah. in front of his face yeah and you you and your crew could be having the best time. yeah and yeah. he ruins it and, and he's he just like he's how can by, i yeah. yeah how can i make this situation bad for everyone yes yep. <laughs> yeah because then you're you're obligated as his boy to get in on it yeah even though you don't want to and you got nothing against the kid or his crew but you have to like that's just the rule yeah I've gotten into like one bar fight and it was like the pussiest bar fight of mm. all time. <laughs> I don't know. I've never gotten into a bar fight. It, it was, this was like all. outside the bar and it was like crew on crew and I mm -hmm. wasn't like matched up with anyone. So I, I was the guy going around to like punch balls. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you've been, <laughs> we've talked about a bar fight that you've been in after a White Sox game. That mm -hmm. wasn't a bar fight. Yeah, rolled up on. Yeah, okay. that wasn't at All a right. bar. That was in a park. That was a fucking war. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. It was. <laughs> Got jumped. Yeah, and then I guess the gut punch off doesn't count. As no, that doesn't yeah. count. That was mutual combat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There was respect afterwards. Very yeah. mutual. Is your guy's fighter in your crew? Is he like uh, like a sweetheart in real life? The he. So for me, he's not anymore. He did do. I'm trying not to get. I was away. gonna say mine's a therapist. There, so there's <laughs> there's Stop. two guys. I swear to God, that's insane. There's two guys. One was one of my is one of my best friends. We got a call. He got in a fight in college. Um, he went to a different school, and we got a call the night before his like arraignment or or, and he's like, hey, Jeff, if you don't hear from me, you know where I'm at. He got a shit ton of probation, but he's a, a big shot chemist now, a uh, chemist? making hundreds of thousands of dollars Jesus. a year. Big shot. He went to UFC. Oh, for wow. grad school, Fuck. for That's grad, crazy. or his doctorate rather. 
Damn. Yeah. Damn. So wow. yes, yes. Yeah. So that's he's just crazy. a yes. psychopath. Yep. That's smart. That's yeah. yeah. Mine is not. <laughs> uh, but Mook, you're up. Okay, number two. I I I like I love the board right now. The most the worst drunk guy to be around, right? That's the frame we're yeah. looking at here. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go with the guy that's dying to drive home. <laughs> that, that was yeah. that was that was number the guy yeah. that just really yep. really wants to get behind the wheel and it doesn't matter how shit faced he is no and you're responsible for him mm-hmm. and you have to hide his keys um you know call someone that he knows and call his and mom call his mom <laughs> tell him he's losing his fucking shit i had a kid when i went to temple he was from my hometown he would drive down to my apartment every thursday we drink a couple 40s, go to the bar for 50 cent wing night. And every Thursday we got into a fight because he wanted to drive home. And I'd be like, dude, you got to either wait or sleep it out. And sometimes he was blacked out and sometimes he was like buzz. So he would do it. But the worst. Yeah, no, uh, this is a good pick. Did, yeah. he, uh, did he ever pull the old? Uh, yeah, here's my keys. And then he had another set on him. No, oh, <laughs> that's, a, on me that's a bullshit move. That's crazy. I've had that pull. That's I would, like you're planning to drive home. Oh yeah, I, like, I, I, would, it's like, dude, what the pulled, fuck? I have his keys. How is his car gone? How is he gone? Premeditated drunk driving. Yeah, that's that's crazy. That's I, if someone did that to me, keys. my friend, I would fucking lose my mind on him. Yeah, I would lose my mind on him. What the fuck are you doing? That's a bullshit move. That's a bullshit move. I've never heard that before. Yeah. Uh huh. That's something I'm actually proud of. My I've never never done it. I get nervous to this day if I have a beer on a golf course and drive home. That's yeah. something I'm proud of about myself that I've never gotten in a car willingly you're at like, any uh, situation. You're not Mike Gundy? Mm-mm. I feel never. like it's always like close enough to the point where they could even walk too if they wanted. Like it's never that far. Call yes. fucking Uber. Yeah. I, I yeah. mean, you can get an Uber in Peoria and uh, they're everywhere, yeah. you know? Yeah, but you know what though? Man? You do go to some towns and they're just not around. It, yeah. Where, where What kind of towns? Because even you like can get St. One in Charles. St. Charles. St. Yes. Charles has them. But uh, are you okay. going to Onion Town? No, there's, no, no, no. There's definitely towns where they're not around. I'm not It'd be hard for it. like, like obviously you want to do it, but like right. some like some towns are like cab towns. Some towns are like like uh, I suppose. Dude, I went like to Augusta last year, and it was like 30 minute waits for like Ubers. It was crazy. So you just drove home? No, I I waited 30 <laughs> yeah, minutes. Yeah. I didn't have a car. I flew yeah, there. Yeah. Um. But yeah, there's but. Regardless, the yeah, point remains. It's the, it's, yeah. That guy's, he's a fucking cunt. He's the, <laughs> it's the perfect way to put yeah, it, yeah. yeah. It, it, he also acts like picking up his car in the morning is the biggest task of all time. Just fucking take an Uber. Just yeah. take an Uber, get the car later. Yeah. Uh, White Sox, Dave. Uh, so I think the first three, the first two are the easy one, two. Uh, I think this is the easy third, the destructive drunk. Just he, like, I don't know, if you're... Walking through like I don't know a, a sh- any any given street and it's like oh let's punch this fucking street pull oh, down okay, mm-hmm. so okay. Like the, the vandalizer yeah, yeah the vandalizer the vandalizer <laughs> oh, yeah that's a good yeah <laughs> they're, they're punching drywall mm-hmm. at a house party <laughs> yes yeah. yeah I live they're, by, they're knocking off a car window for no reason this guy's yeah. probably also the fight guy. Right, that's what I was yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like no one bumped into him, so he's gonna take it out on that. Yeah, yeah. he's definitely yeah. driving Just home. The, the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 There's like, there's never been a side mirror that he didn't love to knock yeah. off. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. Just that moving signs, uh, or yeah, for sale signs. This yeah, is, like lawn furniture. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, this is when I, I don't know if this fits in this category, but my last like hometown Black Wednesday that I did, I was out at you know St. Charles. It was the filling station. And at one point towards the end of the night, this crew of guys just started like Gronk spiking their beer bottles. Yeah, exactly. And Those I'm just people, like, yeah. all right, I like, yeah. I can't, I can't do this anymore. Yeah. Like, this is, I'm out of here. But that's like, what do you, like, what is the point of that? No, there is none. It's yeah. just that you're, you're being a dude. It seems funny to like a 21 year old, maybe who can't hold their liquor and it hasn't been around bars often, maybe. But, like, you're a douchebag. I remember one kid in college, he would get shit-faced, and he would take fucking rocks, like big rocks, and he would just place them on the back of trunks, like just sitting in parking lots. Really? And you know that's going to sh- fucking scratch the shit out of them, yeah. dent them. In, in the moment? Now, in the if moment. That's not hilarious. Right that's hilarious. Right now. Yeah. I'm like, oh, fucking get the next one, yo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yo. 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 But uh, in like hindsight, Jesse that's... from Breaking Bad. I had a yeah, I had a group that they used to love ass bombing cars. Have you ever heard of that? No. Oh. You literally you just run full speed, you wind up, and you basically cannonball your ass onto the hood of a car. Oh. And oh, it would just shit. leave a fucking 
welt. Yeah. Hell of a, a welt. And that's, uh, that Huge poor person dent. who did absolutely nothing other than leave their car in an unfortunate but figuratively safe spot. Yeah. Wakes up, goes to work. What the fuck? Not good. You know, it's just a... It's, but, I've never done it, to be clear. You, yeah. You've shit in a urinal, but you will not do that. Uh, that's a bridge too far. Yeah, you got to draw a line somewhere. Yes. We, we used to uh, car surf in Philly. So like all the cars would be like packed, every street packed, and you could just run on top of the cars. Oh my just, god! It was so fucked up. Yeah. I did it one time, never, yeah. never again. Yeah. But no. Yeah. That was like I a remember, sport. One thing I remember doing this, I was at a I, might have been my sister's wedding. Yeah, it was my sister's. Wedding. I was on a balcony, like at a golf course, and there was uh, there was like concrete underneath, and we were taking salt shakers and spiking them from the balcony underneath, and it was fucking awesome at the time because they were just exploding. But it was like, yeah, like every yeah. every young male has been through a like a little vandalizing stage. Yeah, but it depends how far you went. And yeah. I don't think that ever yeah. really goes away. Like my, one of my favorite like TikTok things is just guys throwing objects off of high surfaces. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like bowling balls yeah. on the trampolines yeah. Yeah. from a bridge a and shit. <laughs> yeah, like that's just, shit's awesome. I, you just can't do it yourself. Yeah, you really have like an option after high school. Like you graduate from like ding dong ditching, and now it's like, will you cause public disruption mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. and that public destruction? Yeah. yeah, that was such a college thing too to punch holes in the wall. Like it was just like just right to yeah. It was almost like became a rite of passage. But oh yeah, know. I had a couple holes in my freshman <laughs> in my freshman apartment. <laughs> yeah. uh, Danny, you're up. All right. I think I'm just going to go with uh, the standard Jekyll Hyde, the nice guy who just turns to a shit talker when he's drunk. You can also say like the little guy, I didn't know if this would be its own pick, but like the little guy with big beer muscles. <laughs> yep. I love that. I don't know if I understand this. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So yeah. You can have like a smaller guy in your group and like it's, traditionally he's a pretty normal, nice guy, but when he gets a b few beers in him, he just gets mean and vicious and wants to fight. And since he's small, you might have to... <laughs> stick up for him and this is different from the fight guy yes i mean I'll, I'll categorize it as jekyll hyde nice guy who turns into a mean drunk this is one a of my talker. best friends yeah from it's, it's pretty pre yeah. prevalent in a lot of groups i feel like yes uh this guy is a water ice salesman by day and at night he is a menace at the bar <laughs> he is the smallest guy but if you bump him at a bar he will chirp back at you mm -hmm. right and then a, that guy will try to fight your smaller friend i and think i know who in. you're talking about yeah out of your group i mean no one specific <laughs> i think i know exactly who's talking about um yeah yeah i think everyone knows someone like this they're, mm -hmm. they're usually quiet yeah that's yeah, true too. right yeah that's that's exactly true too. okay they're usually quiet i, I and just it blindsides you because you're like oh this i still normally don't nice really guy. know what the pick is though jekyll hyde. i like jekyll but hyde, like that's yeah. everybody no you know, like you're very nice and then you get really mean yeah, like typically the fighter already has like that fucking testosterone energy. Right, they're yes. expected yeah. you know? a fighter. They're mm. a jock. Yeah, like and like you you know what to expect, but like it's probably Italian. Th this would be like if <laughs> yeah. if yeah. yeah or Irish, you know, yeah. or Irish. You could even say like yeah, the guy who's uh, quiet, who then just doesn't stop talking shit once he gets drunk. You're yeah. like, where did this come from? The, and the next day he's he's got the scary. He's like, oh sorry, bro. This would be yeah. like if uh, if Stephen Che turned into like the meanest person of all time. <laughs> I just, I guess I haven't been around enough of them. Yeah, I've definitely seen this guy. Yeah. Nice guy returns bean. Uh, Chief. All right, so I got to do two. Um, I'll just take, like, the close talker. So the close talker. That's, where that's a good great one. one. Yeah, where they're, great one. they get too drunk. They get, and sometimes it is like you're in a, a crowded bar. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes like you have no like there's you back up like you have, you have three feet you are evading yeah. Yeah. my personal space so you get the spittle all the all the, the breath everything that comes with the close talker and it's worse like if you're not drunk like I say that person's been oh. drinking for and then they just oh. come and you're just like oh fuck I am locked in with yep. this person now so a close talker um it's my first pick yeah the, like they just can't help themselves yeah. like they just. They're spilling drinks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All over you. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. Always a drink spill. Yep. Always a drink spill. Oh, sorry. Bumped in you. Like, you're already touching me. Basically. <laughs> yeah. 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 And you're it's on top of me. It, yeah. For some reason, it's typically never a good conversation. Can you? know? Yeah. Like, it's yeah. like, it's never something worthwhile where it's like, oh, dude, get a little closer. Yeah. I want to hear yeah. this even more. It's the type of guy where, like, you have to start thinking of excuses to get away from him as soon as he comes <laughs> yeah. up to you. Yeah. 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 Sometimes it's just like, hey, I got to go. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See you, man. you have to be like kind of mean yeah yeah yeah, yeah. uh i'm gonna go for a cigarette oh you don't smoke i i'm starting i'm yeah. starting right now uh you're up again um i'll go with the guy who's just like rude to the bartender mm. so oh, like, that's a good one really i had that one uh you know so it's like this is like a i feel like a thing where it's like if it's out if you're at a crowded bar and they're like taking a minute to get to you Let's just say there's hot girls next to you that that are getting the attention from a male bartender. That's just that's just your lot in life. You can't just then like be a dick to the bartender or your or your waitress or whatever. So if you're drunk and rude to the staff, yeah, this was high on my board. I had it as like, <clears throat> if anyone here ever works in a bar, there's certain people like this who you, who I would just call like a terrible customer. So like if they're like trying to wave down the bartender yeah. or if they're like. The worst is when they're waving down the bartender, but they still don't have the order ready once they get there. Oh, oh my god! Or they're god. just like, eh, "What do you want to drink?" Uh, like, surprise me! It's like no one wants to. Hear or, that. or they get the bartender and then they turn to a mega group of people. Yeah, what do you guys want? Yeah, yeah. what was the rush? Yeah, the guy's pleading to the bar back. Come on, man, you could just get me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Terrible. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Uh, Great pick. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's definitely less prevalent than like being rude to a waiter. I would say because just a yeah. The, the scene doesn't lend itself to really get a, but like a I, I'm ugly picturing interaction. times at Declan's where I've been there and it's like Declan's is slammed, but you're at a table. So you do have a waitress and then it's like, yeah, they haven't been here in, in a half hour. Cause it's like, it takes it's a half slammed. hour to get to the bar, yeah. you know? So just fucking relax. Yeah. Uh, Danny, uh, I'm just going to go with the guy who gets like, let me see. The the puker slash passer outer, the guy who gets like sick drunk, too sick drunk every time. As you get older, it gets more annoying when it's at like a, a wedding or like a formal event. It's like you got to keep it together at certain events, dude. Yeah. You know, I, I was saying. I have been this yeah. guy. <laughs> I was just about to say that, Chief. <laughs> I have been this guy. It's been a long time, but I have, I have definitely One been of the this guy. first. Can I tell a story? Sure. It's not even. It's not even that bad. Uh, it's just you puked. Um, yeah. <laughs> we we went to the casino in Indiana uh, for one of our winter parties. This is probably 2014, I maybe. Think it was 14, yeah. And um, Chief and I go out afterwards, and I I won big that night. I won like 750 for big for like a 24 year old or whatever Huge. I was yeah. at the time. And um, we're in a taxi, I believe. I don't think it was an Uber. It was a taxi. And we had to pull over twice with cheap compute. Uh, you know what, Dave? I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> I remember how yeah. the story ends. Yeah. But I, the details. That's, that's the whole story. He just he's, he was a bit of a puker here and there. Yeah. And and we're saying he, but it's most oftentimes a she. Oh, that is throwing yeah. up. I'm gonna. I'll <laughs> say it. I'll say it. Yeah. Uh, it's like that. Like girls think they can fucking drink more than guys, and it's like, no, you absolutely fucking can't. Yes, yeah. Dave. Like, no, like, you can't I stop you saying by 100 that. Plus pounds. I got yeah. all the muscle on you. Mm -hmm. It's a physical impossibility for you to out drink me. Yep. You're and right. then, like, four shots situation? later, they're crying and getting Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've been in this situation a few times, not going to lie. Yeah. I am this guy, too. But I can control it, and I don't get it in places. I don't get it on people. Uh, but I, You're I'm, sneaky I'm, about it. I'm sneaky, but I'll we, puke for sure. We've talked about the, that. The sneaky throw up and rally, that's a soldier. Yeah. Right? I, yeah. I can't do that. If I ever puke, I am fucking, and that's not too often, I'm, I'm gone, though. I'm, I'm usually pretty good there. at that. Sometimes I get caught. Yeah, you know, <laughs> she puked on uh, um, Wayne Randazzo. Wayne Randazzo. <laughs> Do you know who that is? No. So he's it's the, a funny ass name. Though. He's now the play-by-play uh, -play -play guy for the Angels. He, I was gonna say Padres oh, Angels. Yeah, and he's uh, he's like a longtime family friend. He was at, he was at my sister's wedding, and this was like uh, my, I think it was my first Black Wednesday. So he was back from college or where, he went to North Central. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He went to North Central, and we're I did a shot with my sister and her friends at one end of the bar and then I walked to the other end of the bar and somebody got me a Jaeger. I think it might have been Wayne. And I take the shot and it just didn't go down right and I tried to but it was like a crowded bar. So it just kinda came up oh, and I like a thumb on a hose and then just <laughs> oh, got, 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 got away in a little bit. Oh, so. the old thumb on a hose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he got he got sprayed. And he he was fine with it <laughs> for the most part. And but yeah. So I, I puked on Wayne a little. Those are him. the worst when it's like an intimate setting. Yeah. And it's like you're in front of like people that you kind of know or it's like a friend's family. Yep. Oh, God. I will say your perspective on some of the drunk guys changes throughout life. Like at one point you might have loved 
the guy who's just passed out in the corner at a like, party. Like, oh, dude, you, you know, were like, so fucked up. Like, it's that, hilarious, man. kind of, when growing, like, at a college party, see, oh, there's Kevin again, passed out on the couch. But when you get older and you're at, like, an engagement party and this dude's in the corner of the bar, passed yeah. out, it's dude, like, we're 31. Yeah. 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 So I was, I was 20 or 21 when I puked on Wayne. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. yeah. And that the puker, you're, if you're in an Uber with them, you're just white knuckling, hoping you don't get hit with yeah. the yeah. charge. That, like, that yeah. 250, right? Yeah. I think that's what it is. Hey, no shame. We've all been these kind of drunk guys at one point or another. Oh, yeah. I don't know that I've ever puked in public. Yeah, you did I, after you got gut punched. Well, yeah, that <laughs> should, but that was from the punch, not from the alcohol. Not from after you and him shot for punch. It's hard what, to say. What were which those? One was what were those red and blue robots called? That's sock and boppers. Rock, rock em, sock em robots. Or rock, rock em, sock em robots. Yeah, rock that's em, what yeah. I pictured him and Dave. Sock outside of <laughs> that's one of their. That's what it was. Up. That's yeah. literally yeah. what it was. Rock em, sock em robot. I puked in the alley of Trader Todd's couple years ago that was not a proud moment i've pissed yeah. in that alley many times <laughs> <laughs> hypothetically speaking uh dave you're up uh i'm gonna go the over emotional guy like the guy that's just like oh i love you man such a good friend and it's like we're we've been boys forever best friends since like fucking 10 years old like love you bro it's like dude i fucking get it just shut up and yeah 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 the heart to heart guy no, i think this guy's the man actually <laughs> <laughs> I I have a friend that when he would get drunk, he would just be like, "You're like my brother." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We're like brothers. My parents fucking love you. They've always loved you. It's like, I get it, man. Like we're 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 cool. Like just (laughs) relax. Yeah. Yeah. See, this guy, if anything, doesn't get his appreciation till later in life because at one point you're seeing him like every weekend and every day in college, and you're hearing it every time. But then as you get a little older, maybe you only see him once a month. It's like, okay, man, love you too. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah. And you do That's love him too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, yeah it's just, it's just you don't want to hear it or talk about it when there's a fucking football game on TV <laughs> and you, you got $100 on him. And she's like, shut the fuck up and watch a game. Yeah, yeah, yeah like fucking dust I need Dorito to dust right off now, your dude. fingers yeah. while he's getting intimate with you. There's a time and place for a good heart-to-heart while drunk. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I believe that. Yeah. I do believe that. But, but this but, guy, he takes it way overboard, and it's like, yeah, that's pro- his personality uh, yes. when he's drunk. Almost never publicly is a good place for sure, it. Sure, yeah. Or like, you know, like, hey, dude, they're playing Shout. Like, I love you too, but like, I want to go dance. Yeah. 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 yeah, I also can't hear a word you're saying. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> you know, for if you sure. have that heart-to-heart, like, post-wedding yeah, reception, like, like, you, it's like your hotel best room. friend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, hey, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. when they shine. That's when they're cracking the knuckles. Oh, now I'm, <laughs> I'm just picturing a guy at, like, the loudest bar you can imagine packed to that's, the brim. Like, I love you, man. <laughs> that's where they go overboard, <laughs> though. That's it. You got to pick I love and you. choose properly. Dave, I love you. Yeah. And they never do. But like I said, though, if it's fucking a nightcap, three a.m. beers you're sitting on the hotel yeah, sure. room couch you yes. got the shirts undone it's like hey man like, that's almost sure. a little bit too more, like too intimate though ah, yeah. Yeah. i'm thinking uh. of like post uh prom in american pie like that's an yeah, appropriate right. yeah. setting yeah, yeah, you know yeah. yeah for sure uh the good pick i wanted that at some point yeah. uh mook here up all right so my board some of some of my board is getting touched by other picks which is going to transition into this pick which hasn't been touched but it's touchy. <laughs> the touchy feely. The, the nice. insa- no, not the touchy feely. The insanely horny guy. Uh, ah, fuck. fuck, dude! I thought it was gonna get to the me. The very horny guy. And look, this guy is sometimes a problem, but also sometimes he's just so horny. Like he makes you leave a bar to go meet up with girls, mm-hmm. and he like brings the whole group with him, and he like he forces it upon you guys, and it's like. You get to the bar and then he leaves with the girl and you're stuck at like a shitty bar or like the guy that will ditch your group to go hang out with a girl. Like just the guy that like yeah, his entire it's... night is based around getting laid. And look, sometimes I am that guy. Yeah. Yeah. And I hate myself for it the next day. <laughs> we've been we've all been that it's, guy, I'm sure. It, yeah. It's the guy who gets the shakes at the pregame because he's itching to go to the bar so hard. Yes. yes. <laughs> when yeah. he wants to leave the yeah. pregame yeah. early. It's so we call Uber someone call Uber off in called, the bathroom. Yeah. Like, yeah. Dude, yeah. Rub my <laughs> yeah, You want me to buy you an OnlyFans gift card? Like what do you do here? Yeah. Shut up, Biz. You see him there just rapid firing on fucking Tinder. Yeah, and you could be having the best time. Like a lot of those times, you're having like the best time with just like your boys, and he's like, mm-hmm. "We got it." Go Where's the girls ass. at, man? Where's the girls at, man? Where's the girls at, man? It's like chill the fuck out. Yeah, I'm sure there will be girls. We'll see them at eventually. a bar. They'll yeah. th- we'll see them from a distance. Yeah, they can. Wait. I hate this guy. This guy sucks. Yeah. Some, sometimes you're but we've like, all been that guy at least a time or two. 
I don't know if I've ever been the guy that's like, we're we're all going. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I've never. I don't know. I've definitely done that. Hey, I'm dipping out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've done the goodbye, and I've done like the hey, maybe we should go to this bar. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. I'd be like, oh, it'd be nice if girls were around. Like, you know what I mean? But like, I'd be like, no, dude, we're going out there, and we need to be with girls. Like, yeah, like there's some nights that are just for the guys. And some, <laughs> what's you with the Italians? He hates Italians. He hates Italians. It's fair. Um, but there, there are some nights where it's just like let let's bro out. We don't yeah. have to. Yeah. Totally, I love those days. Yeah, those, those are the best. best days. Those are the best days. Yeah, that's like our home run derby. There was no alcohol there, but it was yeah. just like the boys hanging out. Like I'd go on those bachelor parties with Dana, and everyone's like, "Oh, it must have been so crazy." We would just sit around a fire pit and just talk the whole yeah. time. And you just love fire hundred yeah. beers. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that was great. That it was, was awesome. the most fun we had. Um, this is great value at nine overall. I was hoping mm-hmm. it slid back to me. Um, all right, back to me. That was my next pick. I'm going to go with the, uh, I don't know how to word this correctly, but it's the guy who won't go to bed when it's time. <laughs> That's, yep, I get it. You know? Yeah. Like, I, we, we have this friend, we have this friend, <laughs> and he is notorious for this. We went on a cruise. There was like 15 of us. It was a group of guys, group of girls from college. And like every time where this guy was bobbleheading, like trying to light cigarettes in the middle of the cruise ship, they'd be like, no, dude, go to bed. And then someone would put him there. And then we'd be in like the casino. We'd look up. He'd be like coming from behind the Willy Wonka machine. <laughs> we'd be in the pizza place. He'd be there. So yeah. we just, we nicknamed him Roach because he was literally like our cockroach. <laughs> you couldn't kill him. And he just refuses to go to bed. Yeah. Like, Dude, just go to fucking bed. You've had enough. I yeah. promise you, I have never been this guy. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I can't I say on I have the other end of the spectrum we're for this. We're one. saying, dude, wake up. Yeah. 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 So this is the opposite of the pass out guy. Yeah. The guy who it's like, dude, like, yeah. Call it. Yeah. Call it. Yeah. This could almost no kind more of, Adderall. It, yes. Yeah. Yeah. This oh. could almost be like the guy who uh, always needs to go to the 5 a.m. bar, too, when you know nothing good's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Call it. Yeah. It's okay to call it. Uh, also, like you said, Adderall, like that's a cocaine guy. Yeah. A, a good <laughs> yeah, amount of the time. time yeah. yeah. He's like, please stay up with me and watch Ted too. Please. <laughs> yeah. I can't be by myself right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love you, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's bad. Hey, let's take another break here because I want to talk about cars.com. Well, the cars.com parking spot is so helpful. Not having to battle for a spot here at Barstool. The cars.com, your garage feature is probably even better. I love how I can track my car's value and see how much it'll be worth in two months. I've been thinking about getting something different and knowing my car's value is beyond helpful in making that decision. Since White Sox Dave has the cars.com parking spot this week, they'll have plenty of extra time to create an account with cars.com and track their car's value. White Sox Dave got the most prized parking spot, like I said, at Barstool. I think it's spot number two. It's right across from the building. It's great. It's painted purple. It says cars.com on there. Um, so, yeah, we can all grab some very valuable insights into how our car's value is going with cars.com, your garage feature. The Barcelona employer parking garage is frustrating with cars.com. New, gra- new feature, your garage is anything but. Track your car's value so you know exactly what to expect when you're ready to sell. Track your car's value on cars.com. All right, let's get back into it. Um, all right, so this is where this draft, I think it's going to be made between these rounds. Like I the think three I'd Like, here I'd we agree. go. So uh, definitely a, a big drop-off for this one, but, well, no. I'm going to go with this one instead. Uh, the guy who likes to wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> it was on my board. Like, <laughs> did you hang around with a lot of actual wrestlers? Yes, that, that's all of them. That makes yes. sense. Um, a couple weeks ago, we had to do a, a couple months ago, we had to do a beer pong tournament at Barstool River North, and I was maybe like two beers in, and out of nowhere, Nikki Smokes comes up to me and puts me in a chokehold from behind. I was like, just a casual, <laughs> casual cheap shot to the throat ruined my day. I'm like, God damn, <laughs> oh, yeah. The worst, dude. Yeah. Nick, Nicky Smoke should be his own pick in this draft. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a few, like, actual people. <laughs> yeah. um, he could have been the last guy, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. They inadvertently maybe break some furniture while yes, wrestling. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like, they just always got you in, like, an underhook yeah. that you're like, dude, I Come don't want to be in this right yeah. now. Like, stop it. Yeah. My brother, like, boxes as, like, an amateur. <laughs> And he's the guy that will like 
like spar you and like shadow box you while you're just chilling having a conversation with someone else and it's the most fucking annoying thing on the planet and you flinch the wrong way you're flinching into a fucking punch oh i've gotten oh i've gotten hit so hard yeah Yeah. they they will never stop either until you get slightly hurt yeah 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 yeah. Yeah. or they're they're begging you to punch back so that they're like oh you you hit me i can go now yeah Yeah. i'm supposed to not punch back you started it by putting me in a chokehold yeah yeah they'll challenge your man he'll be like oh pussy you're not gonna wrestle it's like all right fine now we're wrestling and i don't want to (laughs) yeah now i'm all sweaty (laughs) now i'm out of breath i feel like spider does does this sober (laughs) yeah spider does does this all day long all day yeah yeah just rip my fucking banana republic shirts uh mook you're up all right we're getting down to like niche stuff (laughs) now right (laughs) Like, like, like very niche stuff um and danny kind of touched on this with the puker but i think this is a little bit more specific just the guy that will tank your uber rating Mm -hmm. Uh, the guy that will Mm -hmm. talk shit to your uber driver say inappropriate things to your uber driver when it's just like some random dude trying to make like eight bucks trying to get us home and it just he's a pest he's a menace in the uber Uh, that's a great great pick because it's i i should never care what an uber driver thinks about me or my friends but i am there's been times i'm just like humiliated in front of this random fucking guy from yeah it's like, Park. Yeah. It's like dude it's like, anything can like go basically in an uber with your friends but like don't get the guy involved no yeah he's already getting enough you bullshit. shouldn't even talk in an uber i that's kind of how i feel yeah too. yeah like this should guy's be giving you a ride school. yeah courteous yeah yeah i had uh during like 2019 2018 ish when like the trump was like hot in the streets i had this one guy in my friend group that could not stop talking politics and he would just rant to the uber driver and i was like dude this is my co- like you're, you're ruining up. my rating yeah. yeah shut the fuck up cool. i have said that before <laughs> to the get someone to shut up like, yeah. you're gonna ruin my rating so like <laughs> loud so like the driver can hear it and get a laugh yeah 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 um Hey, cool if I bring a beer in here, bro? <laughs> it's probably not. Like, he probably wouldn't appreciate that, dude. That's like, illegal. He can get in trouble exactly, for that. Yeah. Yeah. He could probably lose his job for that. Yeah. Okay, but I can vape in here, right? Yeah. There is a uh, <laughs> there is an employee who I will not name that got uh, Glenny Balls suspended from Uber. Or it was Jet Ski or Glenny. I forget which one, but they were suspended from Uber because- Can oh, I guess? Jesus. No, I'm not going to say it. That's a lifestyle I, change. I have a story. But my, I got suspended from Lyft <laughs> for like a day or two because my boy's phone died at the bar and he wanted to go, we were roommates at the time. He wanted to go back to our apartment with a girl. So I sent him home in a Lyft, got him set up. He got in the car. Halfway through, I get a notification that the ride ended early. They were just- almost fucking in the car (laughs) and the driver pulled over and was like i'm not driving you anymore and i got in trouble for it like i got like disorderly conduct on like my lift and for two days it was like under review and i was freaking out because i'm already banned from uber okay Uh, because of this shit okay yeah because it wasn't me it was one of my boys i'm telling you like just tanked my rating got me off kicked off uber it's a problem like that's probably a big inconvenience for your life major yeah Yeah. if i go to a city that like doesn't have lifts i'm like kind of fucked like i might be hitchhiking you're permanent so you there's no workaround like permaban from uber they know you're like ip and shit yeah every i try to sign up with like different emails and everything it's just like yeah you have to like change your phone number. damn what did this guy do gotta wear a wig i don't know i i think it was during college i i like had my dad's account and then he kicked me off then i was on my own account and that's when I started to get really protective about my rating, but I just had this this friend group that like did not care. Yeah. They, them, <laughs> them, them Philly boys. Yeah. Yeah. Them, yeah. yeah. Uh, White Sox, Dave. There's so many I want. I'm just going to go with my last, which I think is kind of chalky. So I think everybody, I had this guy, and I'm going to go with the Daredevil. The You know there's a 50% chance that you go out with them and have it the absolute time of your life or you either wind up either very injured or in prison. (laughs) It doesn't, it's like, it could be for instance, hey, let me jump off this roof. Let me see if I can stick the landing or something. Or it's like, hey, let me fuck with this person in this way and try to get away with it. Just a guy that's always towing the line and um, like another one. He would, we we would go to lake houses. I couldn't go to spring break ever because of baseball. But we had like a three day window where we could go to uh, my our buddy's lake house and he had a, a wave runner and he would 
uh, gun the weight at the wave runner at like, you know, 60 miles an hour or whatever in the middle of the night. And you just, you'd hear him on the lake and then he would just jump off and he called it the fish and he would flop around. And like, if he would do it during the day, he'd be going so fast. He would be doing like somersaults on this, like skimming the water. And I'm like, that guy is a complete psycho, but this is awesome. And you know you're going to have it like a great time, like I said, or yeah, you're in the paper. I'm yeah, never, or you're in the paper. The last thing I ever want to do when I'm drinking is go to the hospital. Mm-hmm. Like, oh my yeah, god! So fuck this guy. Yeah, I don't like the Daredevil thing. Yeah, I think it's a good pick. It is like the best night of your life, though, when it works out. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> right. right, right. So much fun. <laughs> but like in the moment, you're like, ah, I don't think we should really be doing any of this. Yeah, and it's like, always a shitty feeling. But like, it, it, it always makes for good stories typically yeah. later on. Yeah. But in the moment, it's awful. Uh, Danny. I'm going to go the guy always getting in fights with his girlfriend. Great. Pick. Yeah. Great. Pick. Uh, often ruins your time, maybe makes you leave the place you're at brings down the vibes in general they're usually fighting over nothing important i think it speaks for itself that's a good pick good pick yeah it's very awkward yeah very awkward you have to like talk to one of them as yeah. a therapist at one point then like yeah. you're friends with her too so she'll try to get you involved like, and it's like hey like uh, <laughs> that's a <new> problem <laughs> yeah, i don't know what yeah. you want me to say here. It, it becomes like the event for the night yeah you're it's just like, like hijacking the time you're like you have to like pick a side at one point. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's it's so bad. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's the it's the uh, adult equivalent of like parents fighting when you're at your friend's house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that's it. No, there's been times where friends have been like, "What what happened last night? Like, how was last night?" And I'll be like, "Oh, so and so like fought again." That was like the entire evening. Yeah, yeah. You usually you usually know it's coming already too at the start of the night. It's like Ronnie and Sammy from Jersey Shore. Yeah, yeah, yeah these yeah, guys yeah. just they just fight. That's what they do. It's like, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. And then they they fuck hard after. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just obliterate each other. Yeah, I think they just fight for the rage sex after. Yeah, so it's better. Uh, Chief, you're up. Uh, advice guy. Like the unsolicited <laughs> oh, advice. God. I couldn't figure yeah. out how to w- word this yeah. one. Yeah. It's like, you know what you should do? That's great. Oh, this is what, and it's like, it's the same. Like, I, I feel like I remember <laughs> being in college being like, you should, you should switch your major. Yeah. You should do this. You should break up with that girl. You should, you like, whatever. Now it's like, you know what would be a great content idea? It's like, <sighs> dude, shut the fuck up. Oh, so the unsolicited God. advice guy. Yeah. They act like there's, there's, this wise old owl, but they're the same age as you. Yeah, you know, like, but they're just we've drunk. Had, yeah, we've had the same life <laughs> yeah. experiences. Yeah. I, I had this down as like the financial advice guy. Like the guy's like, all right, invest here, invest there. Yeah. Like it's like, dude, I know how to spend money and I know how to receive a paycheck. I, that's it. Like that's all I know in finance. That's all I'll ever know in finance. Shut the fuck up yeah. and let me drink my goddamn milk. And if I do think that I want your advice, I will talk to you on two o'clock on a Wednesday. Yes. You know, yeah, like, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not doing it at you know, Send midnight. a Google calendar uh, yeah. advice. I'm not seeking out career advice at 11 p.m. at right. Declan's. Yeah. Yeah. Let me get, you know, use this for your sales tactic. Yeah. Instead. yeah shut this up. is a very good pick. Yeah. This is nothing I haven't seen on my Explore page. <laughs> right. From yeah. like elite mindsets. <laughs> yeah. I just don't follow it. That's the problem. <laughs> You're up again. All right. Um, so this is this is Mook kind of said it in his with the two horny guy, but the guy always looking for the next move. So I don't. I I, I think it's separate. I think it is too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So a lot of times I, especially now, I don't want to. If I have a table, <laughs> like, that's the most prime real seat estate. At the bar, like <laughs> you'll have to get the jaws of life to get me out of this seat. So just just chill. Yeah. Just chill. I'm <laughs> starting to get to that point in life where yeah. I'm like a table is a blessing. It's thirty. Yeah, it's it's, 30. You Once give you get me, to 30, you'll never look back. You give me a fucking table, a, a waitress, and a clear shot to the bathroom, I'll fucking sleep yeah. there. Yeah. That's <laughs> what, like, yeah. Credit credit to Dave and I. Back in our like prime Declan's Dave days, we would get to Declan's and sit at that back table. We'd get there, the two of us. 10.45 like, a.m. Yeah, yeah. Like, right before the 11, <laughs> 11 a.m. kicks. And we would stay there to the end of like the primetime yeah. game. And, we, and like people would come in and out. And we're just like, we were anchored to we that back moving. table. Yep. Yeah. And a lot of times, like, especially early, we would go like an hour or two without saying a fucking word to it each other. Awesome. <laughs> it was yeah. So we, wouldn't, we wouldn't talk. Hey, Dave. Yeah. What's up? What's up? It's like, uh, yeah. here we are. King of the Hill. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. I like that. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. Because yeah. yep. that's the thing, too. It's, uh, this is different from Mook's pick because there are those people 
who a bar is just not crowded enough. Let's yeah. go somewhere shut else. Up. Or yeah. it's too, shut up. Yeah. Or it's too crowded. Shut up. Or it's, yeah. Like, yeah. And I've been that guy. I've been the guy that's like, we need more energy. And it's like, yeah. well, really, we're here to talk to each other. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. They yeah. always want to do a spontaneous bar crawl, no matter what. No matter yeah. how good yeah. the bar is, they want to go to multiple bars. Yeah. And, I, and I'm, I like to do a little bar crawl every now and then. This guy comes in handy here and there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yes. I do like that. But if you find a good spot, like, don't like, I feel like if you bar crawl, like, you know, you're going into that. Yes. If you don't know you're going into it, then just chill. Right. Yeah. Don't try to start it when it hasn't been talked about. Yes. Good pick again. These uh, are all good picks. Yeah. I don't know who's good and who's bad so far. That's going to be tough. Danny. Is this my fourth pick? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go with the bad stories guy. They got a story for everything <laughs> and it's, Ooh. and it's just, you have to hear him out for like whole five minutes. You know, story here and there is good, but it's just like, oh, that reminds me of, oh, that reminds me of. And sometimes it can be a lot, especially if you're in a loud place. It's like, it's not the time for a lecture right now. Yeah. Yeah, bad story guy's tough. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've known people who will start a story. They'll be talking, it, you know, going for five minutes, and then you're like, well, wh where is the story going? It's word vomit. And they're like, oh, I forgot. Because they're drunk, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, a drunk, yeah. it's a drunk bad story, and they try yeah. they try to like overcompensate by just spitting out more words. So in that, and while they're overcompensating, they're trying to like r jog their memory to yeah, get, you, you know, see the wheels. Yeah, turning. right. And yes. you're like, and you you just eventually call them out. You're like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? You're like, yeah, typically got, repeated <laughs> repeated stories. Yeah, same night. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, that's a good that's a good one too. Like a bad story is bad enough but when you add alcohol to it it's like steroids to a bad story yes yeah and the worst is when it's like a guy that like you don't like know that well and he's like be he's just begging for your attention yeah, yeah please yeah. listen to me it's like dude get get away yeah please. <laughs> yeah uh white Sox, dave um i'm gonna go with my last kind of chalk one uh this one's very easy i think i'm going with the cheap drunk like end of the night that's you so get that $700 tab. He's looking around. He's like, well, I didn't order this shot. I didn't order that shot. It's like, shut up. We're splitting it ev evenly. Quit your bitching. You have a job. You make as much money as the rest of us. Put your fucking card down, you loser. Go off. That's it. <laughs> no, I, like I, I love that pick. I hate the guys that are like looking at the check and they're like, well, I didn't really get any well drinks tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 If we split the bucket by six, well, it's, yeah. it's yeah. fucking. Did, did, you, got, did yeah. you get two or three rum and cokes? Yeah. yeah. It's like, <laughs> shut the fuck up. And you know what? This is usually, I would say typically women. That's a women thing. Am I, is that an unfair I think, statement? Uh, is that sexist of me? It, they're not even cheap. They just ex expect to not like fully pay, if that makes sense. Yes. There's a lot of times like I, we've had a, a huge tab and like a girl was on the end of it or two girls and like they had like four drinks and we're like, just don't. don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Don't. See, yeah. see, this is an interesting pick, Dave, because I don't know how much the drunkness affects this. Like, I think a cheap guy is a cheap guy, regardless how he is. I think this is more like. That's probably fair. Like a, wor a more drunk assessment is the guy who like never pays his tab. You yeah, know, like I had dips on check. It, yeah, it, yes, it, yeah, yes. Yeah. Like he just like yeah. So this is where like, yeah. The, well, yeah. The guy that just you you see him and you're like you know you're gonna have to hawk him down for money. Well, I just honestly I wouldn't say a word. I would just have a, a grudge against him in my yeah. head forever. Yeah, be like quit being a fucking cheapskate. But he's never gonna be that. Just quit being a cheapskate. You're always gonna be covering. I'll his let tech. you. I also feel like this is like uh this is like an early twenties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Problem more so than when you get older. It's a friendly room today. And I feel yeah. like I'd Even let you it, change it to that if you in want. In your yeah, the never pays tab guy. Yeah, yeah. I think that's that, fair. I think like, that's even fair. if you're a yeah. cheap guy sober, it gets like exaggerated when yeah. you're drunk. Like it really comes out. Yeah, it's a, it's a friendly room today. It is a friendly room today. Because <laughs> we're, we're all guilty of these at some <laughs> yeah. point. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we, yeah. we have yeah. to give each other our own sympathy for it. Yeah. yeah. Um, this We're getting really down to it, I feel like. Um, I have one that I, I don't have the phrasing yet, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off on it. This one is very niche. Um, the guy that falls in love with the bartender <laughs> and is convinced that she wants to fuck him or convinced that like he's going to get her number. Um, and look, I, I fall in love with every bartender I've, I've ever met, but I never pursue it. I'm never like, can I please get your number or anything like that? I, there's been guys that I've been out with that are like, 
she wants my dick now. It's like, dude, she <laughs> she's on the clock. Yeah. Like she is working for her tips right now. She like wants she, your wallet. She will call you yeah. babe or baby yeah. because you're gonna tip 25, 30%. Alexa, play bartender by Akon and T-Pain. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Um, all right, to me, I'm gonna go with the uh, the music control freak guy. Mm, yeah, Great on my pick. board. Yeah, like the guy who just refuses to give up the ox. Like this is his wallet. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, let me get one song in. Let me get one through off. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. The music control freak guy. The guy like you're at like annoying. the pregame and he's like blasting like hardcore EDM music and you're like, dude, we're there's four dudes here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it's not even like a taste of music thing. It's just like if someone the like control thing. Yeah, like like let someone, you know, like no, I'm I'm connecting. I'm connecting. Like it's 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 not good. I think this is the second time you've taken this. I think yeah. you might have taken this as like a road trip thing too. I think I did. Yeah, yeah. I, I hate the music control freak. I'm uh, the music control freak. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you are. I, I, I don't. Listen. I never. If someone has a, a song they want to play, I won't say fuck no though. Unless it's like a legit shit song. If you're the music control freak too, you have to have it figured out. We can't be hearing your text tones coming through. We you can't be having it where uh, the song automatically repeats. You have to be scrolling actively looking for the yeah, next like song. Yeah, like I am the opposite. I'd never want to be. No, in. it's too much yeah. pressure. At all. Yeah. The pressure isn't worth the praise. Right. No. Yeah. You'll have a, a, a call pop up on the thing, and that oh fuck. Whoops. People are going to know she's calling me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, they leave the room and you lose connection yeah, exactly. <laughs> from the Bluetooth. Yeah. yeah. My my roommate, my ex-roommate, shout out to him. I love him. He's one of my best friends, but he would like blare dubstep and then like open Snapchats and Instagram stories on his phone. And it just sounded like the worst, uh -huh. <laughs> the worst sounds you've ever heard in your life. But he was set on like, I'm running Ox. Yeah. And it's like, dude, <laughs> If you're on Ox, you have no other apps. That's yeah. Like yeah. yeah. That, yeah. that should be mm -hmm. the rule. All right. Fifth round. I need another one. Should I go one that's kind of barstool centric or one that's more overall? I'm interested to hear the barstool centric yeah. one. It's the guy who asked for a job. Ah. Uh. Mm. Yeah. And, and I guess it's not crazy barstool centric. Like if someone is out there and you meet them and they're like, oh, like this guy works at this company. But like. But guy who asked for the job is tough. Like it's like, hey, I, I get it. Like, yeah, he's yeah. like the networker. Yeah, like I, yeah. I totally understand. Like you're trying to hustle. Like this could be your dream job. You could be the most qualified person in the world. But like, it's probably not going to happen. Not at the bar. then. Not the no. right yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Let's go to the office right now. <laughs> yeah. Get you set up. Yeah, and I, this is we've all been there. Look, Eddie, yeah. I have some snake draft topics that'll yeah. blow your fucking mind. Yes. Yeah, you, you need a little proof of concept. You know, that's how yeah. I tell everybody. Like, oh, I, like if you want to be a podcaster, you should, you should have a podcast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> just put you on the big like, stage. You know? Yeah, exactly. Like, hey, I'm like, I, it's like, I get it. Like, you know, just like here, send an email. Mm -hmm. Like this, this, and this. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I've told so many dudes like DM me. I'll I'll help you out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like I love. I'm not gonna like shit on you at the bar. It's like I love you. Thank you for everything. Yeah. You know, watching shit and everything like that. But it's like I have no power. Totally. That's like, what I. Yes, say. exactly. Like, all those hires are done out of New York. Yeah, you'll totally. Have to, yeah, like, you'll have to talk to Portnoy. That's, 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 that's <laughs> yeah. like why you pick it because yeah. like you don't have any power over the situation. Like right. I would love to hand you a job. I don't. Totally. But I, you think yeah. I'm hiring people? Yeah. Totally. <laughs> I'm out, out of the bar giving out big cat's number <laughs> yeah, yeah. hit him up now actually yeah, yeah. hey i like, got someone uh, coming on the yak today with us yeah <laughs> yeah this guy his, his kid wakes up at 1 a.m so he might have an extra hand free to talk yeah. to you yeah you know um yeah tell him che gave you the number <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly so yeah and like i don't mean to sound like an asshole because i was like i said i no. love our fans but. yeah uh, the networker yeah the networker because it, it happens yeah. in corporate america too like when yeah. i was an accountant like dudes would like try to suck up to managers at like a happy hour it's like yep. they're going home to their kids and you're six beers deep making a fucking ass out of yourself yes right yes yeah so yeah i think uh i think that's a bad one I, i've i've been to like i've been to places with portnoy and like people will come up with like napkins and it's like dude he's like yeah he's not looking for the next great talent at 11. you yeah. know what i mean like <laughs> it's just not probably how it works no uh i yeah to defend them i get it if you're like a content creator totally. i think i think you take yes, that chance a hundred but if you have nothing if he says okay let's talk and you have uh yeah uh, i'll do anything yeah 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 it's just not gonna work out yeah, that yeah. Way. like have your like 
Have your ducks in a row. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. The best way to get a job here is to do it. Yeah. And people will find it. Yeah. yeah. Right. That's that's kind of what I say. Like mm-hmm. you have to do something to get on Dave's radar somehow. Yeah. You're like on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mook. Okay. Uh, this is a tougher one to explain. And I don't know if you guys have this in your group or not. I think some people will sympathize with this at home. The guy that thinks cocaine is the coolest thing in the world. The guy that's like, we need to get a bag right now. The guy that's like, come to the bathroom with me and do a line. Mm-hmm. And it's like, hey, man, um, like if you turn down his cocaine, he's going to be offended. Yeah. You're like, hey, man, it's Thursday. Yeah. Chill out. And they, they often, some people will like doing it in a stall or like, you know, in a room in a house in the bathroom. But these guys kind of like showing it off no matter who's the guest. It's their entire personality yes. for that night. Hand up, fellas. It's you. This is why I brought you guys in because you're the only two talking about this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I never had that guy. I, I'm no, so yeah. far outside of this that I feel cool when someone offers me drugs. <laughs> That's I, yeah. I, I'm yeah. like, like oh, they must yeah. think I'm cool enough. To and do look, drugs some, with them. sometimes it is cool. <laughs> yeah. But but sometimes like it, there, there's a guy and like he's at the pregame and he makes like getting the bag from his plug like a big event and then he's like Mm -hmm. all right who's doing it who wants to get in and it's like ah like that's cool like go do it i'm not gonna do it but then he like he's like oh what are you a pussy and it's like no dude i just kind (laughs) of yeah i guess i am yeah Yeah. Yeah. did you test it uh (laughs) i don't know there's people that make that their entire personality that's their entire pregame and that and that's fine i've been in that phase before whatever um eventually saying no to that guy and he's still hanging on is like it makes it a a task Mm -hmm. yeah the guy who does coke who you never even knew did coke is cool you know he just keeps to himself like all right you want to do that it's fine it's been in your pocket this whole time yeah Yeah. but mr like i'm gonna shove this up your nose right now if you don't volunteer (laughs) it's like all right dude get away (laughs) that's kind of how i feel about drinking too like i don't want to know that you're hammered yes yeah you don't have to tell me right i know white sack safe um, I'm going to go with, this is kind of opposite of the cheap guy. I'm going to go with the guy that just shows off about how much money he makes. And like, it's, I have a guy, I'm not going to say his name. I have a guy very in particular that we all know that does this very regularly and it always drives me fucking nuts. I and know I, exactly who you're talking about. Yeah. Yep. And it's, it's, it's like, I don't care. And I don't believe think. you even that you make this amount of money, but like I don't care that even if you do make a half mil or three quarter or whatever you make I don't care Here I do the, not care shut up about it you told me this last time stop talking about how much money you make I think that this is not necessarily a drunk guy I think yeah. no <laughs> this comes out every time he's drunk but every I, time I've he's been, drunk I've been with him sober I've never seen it sober s- oh he does it sober yeah, too that's that's just a character flaw but yeah. um, the guy that tells you about his like corporate accomplishments yeah, yes yeah. like yeah. I, I just don't care I just want to watch yeah. this Miami of Ohio versus Northwestern football game <laughs> in peace <laughs> shut up yeah and if you're going to be bragging about how much money you make you better you might as well pick up the bill then yeah every single time yeah, yeah. every yeah. single time I don't know who time. you're talking about, but yeah, does that neither, person but... do this? Does he pick up the bill? Yeah. No. Uh, no. Oh, okay. Well, then yeah. Actually, point? he's probably the guy that leaves. <laughs> yeah, actually. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. He'll pop in for an hour or two, and you'll see him, and it'll be and, typically and pleasant. You know, aside you know from... this guy. Okay, I'm interested to yeah. hear who it is yeah. after. Yeah. Yeah. Nice little game of guess who. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I just, same thing with your last pick, Dave. I don't know if it's unique to being drunk. It always comes out worse when they're drunk. Sure, but I don't know. The guy is me. I make so much money. <laughs> <laughs> Accountant Mook. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Danny. My last pick? Yeah. All right. I'm going to kick it back to the, the high school days here. I'm saying the guy who always gets caught and then gets you caught. Like at, at the end of the night, after a little underage drinking, we all have a responsibility to, you know, eat, eat the gum you know, spray the ax on, Yep. you know, make, make, put some, uh, visine in. And if this guy gets caught by his mom, she's probably calling your mom. It ruins it for everyone. The guy who always gets caught. Yeah. That's a great, that's a good one. I was never thinking anything underage for this, but it's yeah, a throwback. That, that was, mm-hmm. uh, that, yeah. that guy was a problem. Yeah. Like the nights of like sneaking Matt, back to your you parents. Fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. The guy who every or, single time mm-hmm. we snuck him out, so we snuck my buddy out. He had to leave for school early after we graduated high school. 
he had like two weeks of summer vacation before he had to leave. So we snuck him out of his window. He had a super strict curfew and we took him to Diamonds. Nice. Did you guys ever make it to Diamonds? I think it closed by the time. Okay, it was. yeah, because it's not there anymore. Yeah. That was like right by anybody. Airport. Yeah, it yeah. was everybody it's a in the passage. West Suburbs. It was your rite of passage. When you turned 18, you went to Diamonds. It was a strip joint. And we snuck him out. He got obliterated off Southern Comfort in the in my buddy's backyard in his like forested area. He he drank like half a bottle in a few minutes. And Puked at diamonds, puked all over himself in the car, got caught. We all got caught. We all got in trouble. He was that guy constantly. And there's, sometimes they were just so dumb. Like they, they wouldn't get caught because they smell like beer. It'd be like, oh, I, my mom noticed I came home without my sweater. And it's like, what? And it's like, yeah. And then I ended up telling her, like, I, I left my sweater at this party. <laughs> like, How did that? You couldn't make up a lie better than that? So another quick story. We, we, snuck out and we told our buddy's mom who she was insanely strict like i said that we were going to espn zone i don't know why that was our lie that was our lie big barstool fan. so he had a espn zone t-shirt in his in his wardrobe and he wore that home just to throw her off the set and she knew that because he was wearing that that he was full of shit yeah, it's almost like uh, when bluff. you yeah. protest too much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. Yeah. You, you tidy up the house a little too much after the house party. Yeah, you know. Yeah, my mom was my mom was big on the. Uh, I don't know if it was ever true or not. Where if you drive after curfew, your insurance is void. Have you ever heard that? No. We're like, oh, that's yeah. one of those white lies your yeah. parents probably told yeah. you. Like, yeah. you can't drive with the car light on, you'll yeah. get arrested. Or, exactly. or barefoot. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I was you 16. You can't drive yes, barefoot, barefoot. By the yeah. Way. yeah. Yeah. So I never I was, had the urge, but okay. I was 16, and it was like, you, like, that's the one thing she could, like, I could stay out till whenever as long as I wasn't driving. And one day I, I, I snuck out, I set up, you know, a body pillow, whatever. <laughs> and I was sitting there, and I get a call from my mom at like 3 a.m. Like, oh, this ain't good. She's going to be pissed because I drove. And uh, it was because some fucking other idiot didn't come home in the 16th district Chicago Police Department was like do you know where your son is he's like yeah I think he's in his bed and then she pulled it open it was like Ferris Bueller you yeah know? Uh, I was like you <laughs> fucking idiot mm-hmm. fucking Joe Crane uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, chief Mr. Relevant uh, also I had a buddy who swore corn nuts was the best way to uh, clear the breath <laughs> corn nuts are disgusting but I can see that yeah, like working like funnions like yeah. that's what yeah, you oh. need so that yeah. overpowers it. Yeah, 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 exactly. Not gum. Just yeah. take take a bite of an onion, like Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> <the whole thing. laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I'll go with. Uh, I have a few left on my board, but I'll go with a shot guy. So the guy who's always buying shots. Like if you want to, I'll do a round of shots. You know, oh, at, yeah. at the beginning. But if you're like, if if I see a third tray come over to the table, it's like, what what are you doing? What are you doing? This is a WSD. <laughs> I like I like getting the party going a little yeah. bit. Yeah, but the, the shot guy, it gets tough after a while. Yeah. If, if he complains about buying the shots, that's when I, I never do that. Off. I pick them up. Yeah. I pick them up you, I, every you, time. You used to, and then I would say maybe six years ago, you stopped doing that. You used to be like, you used to order like rounds of shots for the table, including like strangers, and then the bill would come. And it'd be like we had we ordered fifty shots, and it'd be like, "Well, Dave, like you ordered fifty <laughs> shots." <laughs> I don't know about that. I've never. I've that, never it was been a long frugal. time ago. I it was a, a friend long, that did that. It was a yeah. long time ago, but um, people don't forget. <laughs> but yeah, that's. But I'm not frugal with my money when I'm drinking. Not, I'm, I'm definitely not very <laughs> liberal. With definitely it. it's not. It's very yeah. bad. Yeah. That's my worst kind of drunk is myself when I drink and I <laughs> spend too much money. I hate that guy. Can I can I draft that? Can I go back and draft that? Is draft that, a, is that yeah, draft myself when I spend too much money. <laughs> I think that's that's fair, right? That is a guy though, a guy that like the next day or even later that night is just like, dude, I spent all of my money and he, like he won't stop talking about it. It's like, dude, do you want me to Venmo you? Like what's nope. going on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope, do not want it. Yeah. Um <laughs> we could do honorable mentions. That's a good that's a good Mr. Elf because sometimes you're just like, dude, enough. Yeah. Uh, I have I have two. I'll I'll just I, the non shot guy is a little annoying sometimes. What do you mean? Like, like won't do it? No. What's like, yeah. It's like Take unless if you're shot. like a real problem where it's like I know what that's gonna do to me. Yeah. yeah. But if you're like no, I'm not doing. Like come on. Like let's get the vibe up. Yeah. 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 Like I don't think I've ever said no. Yeah. But like it's like, that's yeah. why I do it because I know he's not gonna say no. <laughs> <laughs> and then the pick I was between besides the uh, 
ask for a job guy is the guy who swears he's going to break up with his girlfriend and just never does, you know? He's just always like, this is it, man. If I was single right now <laughs> yeah. at this bar. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Danny, you got any? Um, I'm looking right now if anyone else has any. I got some. I got some, oh. too. Oh, um, another, uh, another underage one, The Waster. The guy who would like sneakily pour beers out to say, oh, oh, yeah. it's like, dude, we just all put our money together by his case. Leave it. That's a great one. Yeah, dude. Uh, Chief. Um, I would just have like strangers trying to talk to you too much. Like, like we'll make our niceties or whatever, but like, I don't want to have a full on conversation with somebody I don't know. Uh, somebody who overshares. I don't want to talk to someone I do know. <laughs> yeah, that, tr- that too. <laughs> Um, and then I can't believe this didn't get taken. Maybe it's just too basic, but like the guy who's loud, like mm-hmm. just too loud yeah. at the bar. And I feel like everybody gets a little bit loud when you're at the bar because it's. I know that guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes people who overshare make me laugh, though. You know, like, Some, sometimes they're, they're like the star. Of yeah. The and yeah. it's like, dude, what is wrong with your mental state that you feel like Lock you need to up, do this? Dude. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like there was this bouncer in college who uh, we would see at the grocery store and he, he had a cat. He was buying kitty litter. We're like, hey, what's up, man? Like, just like, how's it going? He's like, yeah, doing all right. Except for my sister. Her boyfriend's beating the fuck out of her. Again. <laughs> like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, dude. <laughs> I swear to God that had like work for work. To, like, get a posse together. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And all of us, when he went to the car, we're like, dude, why is he telling us that? fucking schnooks yeah you know it's like, like you can't when you, not have when someone, follow-ups after yeah. that either when someone asks how Jeez, you're doing Donnie. the only answer is i'm doing good yeah yeah that's the only answer you give fine you don't yeah i'm fine hey i'm yeah. fine how's how's things with you yeah, you yeah. say you save that for the heart to heart yeah right. later yeah. on yeah. exactly some people just don't know how to drink mook no they don't mook anything yeah, I got a couple of basic ones. Uh, this is it was they were all like touch, so I didn't say them. But like the guy you have to babysit, um, the guy that breaks shit. So like in, there was a phase in college where like the my neighbors would just like throw their furniture off the balcony. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was talking about for the destructive. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it's yeah. like they would come into my apartment sometimes. I'd be like, "Do not move my couch. Don't break my couch. <laughs> don't like, do, please, don't, don't lift that." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that like we, I see those eyes. Yeah. In college, it's such a it's such a common name. I'll say it. My buddy Joe, he would uh, for Halloween, he would go around Naperville where I went to college and just smash mailboxes with uh with pumpkins, like. And I'm like, watching it in real time. It was kind of sweet. However, looking back, he was a big fucking cunt. Yes. Um, the guy, this is like a, a younger college and like early graduate thing. The guy that like comes back to your apartment later and eats all of your food. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's, make, he's yeah. making everything in your freezer, yeah. open up the fridge, leftovers gone. And then, and then this one, nine times out of 10, it's a good interaction and it's like a, like a universally loved interaction, but you can have a bad interaction with a guy in a bathroom at a bar. There are times where the guy in the bathroom is a little too chatty. Or he like says something like extremely off putting, and you're like, "Well, that was fucking weird." This like, is this is the classic Jay Cutler story. Don't care. Yeah. Oh, have uh, you heard that? No. No. Uh, so he was at some bar. I think it was in Wrigley. Yeah. And the guy was like chatting. I was when he first got traded to the Bears. He's like, "Oh, like I went to Vandy, and you know, like whatever." And Jay Cutler just like breaks out. He's like at the owner, like, "I don't." Care, <laughs> don't care. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you just gotta piss, and it's like I don't want to do like yeah. this whole thing. So yeah, that's what I got. Yeah, that's good, Dave. Uh, I got the liar, the guy that you j- is just telling stories, and you're thinking in your head like none of this is fucking true. I know this guy. Yeah, that's <laughs> the same guy I was talking about earlier. Uh, now this next guy I think is kind of awesome, but he can go overboard. The high school glory days guy. Um, <laughs> the name dropper, the guy uh, that just knows everybody, yeah. uh, the not drunk enough guy. He sucks. Uh, the chief drunk. Uh, this is another one that's kind of new to me. The guitarist that can't actually play the guitar, but thinks he can and always p- tries to play it that's when he's drunk great. guy. And then just the guy that gets completely obliterated blackout, whack out every single time he drinks. Yep. Yeah. That's probably just should be called the alcoholic. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you had some good ones there. Uh, all right, I'm going to rate them through, and then we'll uh, vote who had the uh, worst one. Assume me a tough one this week. I think everyone did pretty good. Uh, Eddie, the fighter, guy who won't go to bed, 
guy who likes to wrestle, music control freak, the networker, uh, Mook, guy who wants to drive, insanely horny guy, guy who wants, guy who tanks your Uber rating, guy who falls in love with bartender, the guy who loves cocaine, White Sox Dave, the vandalizer, heart to heart guy, the daredevil, never pays tab guy, guy who shows off his money, Danny, nice guy who turns bean, Jekyll Hyde, Jekyll Hyde, all right, all right, Jekyll. Slash hide. I would like an addendum as well. What do you the want? The guy that thinks cocaine is too cool. Guy, guy who thinks cocaine is too cool. Uh, all right, Danny Jekyll Hyde, puker slash pass out guy. Guy who always fights with girlfriend. Bad stories guy. Guy who gets you caught in high school. Uh, chief, close talker, rude guy to bartender, unsolicited advice guy. Guy always looking for the next move. The shot guy. Strong draft. Chief. Yeah, this is strong this is draft. All course. around strong yeah. draft. This is just yeah. going to be eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Yeah, Sorry. it is. It is. Yeah. yeah. All right, write it down or do whatever you got to do. Danny, who you got? <sighs> Man, I'm sorry, but I guess by default, I'm just going to go Chief. Right. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Why by default? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Yeah, because, I mean, he was good, but I think it's still... Now the room I, had, I had to do eeny, meeny, miny, mo. You got a uh, recency I bias for me. Now the room turns ugly after a nice... Uh, I think he said that because he saw me write his name down. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. no, I didn't, but yeah. it, it was more recency bias. You were the last one I heard. Okay. All right, one for Danny, one for Chief. Mook? I uh, Recency bias as well. Chief was like the sweetest sounding one. Can I see your thing real quick? <laughs> Just one last gaze. Oh. <sighs> I, just just because I don't want to go with recency bias, I'm going to go White Sox Dave. Okay. <laughs> We're just gonna have a White Sox Dave, who do you got? I got Danny. Okay. so that's, I didn't like his first pick at all. I that, didn't like that one either. That's That was what did it for me. That's fair. Uh, that's two for Danny. Dave, I voted for you just because of the, the what you overlapping said. factor. Yeah. So that's two for Danny, two for Dave. Who had the uh, who had the unique Mo- vote? Me. You did? Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, no. So mm-hmm. then I would vote for between, between Danny and Dave? Yeah. Well, then I guess I'm just well, doubling down. No, 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 he didn't no, have no. a unique vote. He two voted for me. Two. Yeah, it's two and two. Wait, who didn't vote for Dave? I, or... Danny voted for me. Oh, so it's up to Danny. You got to change your <laughs> vote. It's naturally you're going to pick White Sox, Dave. Or do we let Lance pick? Yeah, just pick Lance. Yeah. Pick it out, Lance. Danny or Dave? Ah, oh, man. Can you can you read them for me? Yeah. Um, White Sox, Dave, the vandalizer, heart to heart guy, the daredevil, never pays tab guy, guy who shows off his money, uh, Danny, jackal size hide puker slash pass out guy guy who always fights a girlfriend bad stories guy guy who gets you caught in high school now you got to remember the guy that gets you caught in high school doesn't exist for us anymore <laughs> yeah i guess there's a couple that don't exist for us anymore that one can't exist for us though nostalgic i, I think I'll, i think i'm gonna have to go danny for that for that reason all right i'm sorry dc that's fuck it you, fuck you lance danny you're off the pole um a tough one though. Should yeah, I? Yeah, would I have had a better shot if I went with my little? I loved one of your honorable mentions. I forget which, which one, one it was though. Uh, I went with okay. I didn't even say this one because I skipped it. Captain Cons was one of mine. <laughs> um, <laughs> Captain Cons was number one on my list, but I obviously I saved it. Uh, liar, high school glory days, the name dropper, uh, the not drunk enough guy, the cheap drunk, the, which oh, I, I forgot to delete. The high but, school glory days would have been a good pick. There's yeah. some people that cannot yeah, talk about they, anything else besides high school football or whatever. That's I I have one friend yeah. who it's embarrassing. Like he'll be like, oh dude, you went to a fucking Bennett. We played you guys my junior year. Yeah. you guys beat us, but we got you our senior year. Yeah. It's like dude, yeah, when they can recount the year. <laughs> it's like sophomore year See, was pretty rough. I'm a weirdo. I remember every single player I ever played with or against in like every situation. Yeah, no. but you're not you're not spit like word vomiting that at mm. random dudes. That it, it see that shit can be fun, but you got to know like you have to have a governor on it. Yes. You know. Yeah. Listen, uh, it's it's okay to talk about, but if you do it every time, yeah, right? Every the time. Yes. That's the that, distinction. Yes. Remember, uh, Tony Soprano said, "Remember when is the lowest form of conversation." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. I'm a nostalgia guy. I disagree. Oh, yeah, I like TF, that. Sir. Yeah. Um, yeah. So one more time. And then come guitarist out to- that can't actually play guitar, but <laughs> thinks he can. Yeah. Come um, out to Laugh Factory. Uh, link will be in the description. We'd love to see it. If you, whoever gives us the best honorable mention at the show, can we do this? Yeah. Yeah. 
whoever gives the best honorable mention of the show, uh, Mook's going to give you a tour of the office. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to give you a job. job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hope to see you out there. Fun draft. Really yeah. fun draft. Really fun draft. All right. We'll see you guys uh, on Wednesday.